All right, so now that we've gone over safety, we've gone over naps and three basic types of naps, as well as positioning to the audience, now I'm going to show you what these can be used for. And basically, these kinds of naps, these upper body ones, the attacky, attacky, attacker, and team nap, they can be used with slaps and punches. So let me demonstrate that real quick with Sean here. First, we'll demonstrate the attacker nap, which I'll be the attacker for, and we'll do a slap. And uh, this is what it looks like. Shoulders, eye contact, my left arm goes back. And there you go, I've done a slap. Now let's try the same thing, the attacker nap, with a punch. The only difference is, instead of having my hand like this open, we're going to put it in a fist. And that's the only difference. It's the same action, the same kind of movement, and it's going to look just like a little bit harder like a punch. So again, Hands on the shoulders, eye contact, rear back with a punch, and then just like that. And you always want to follow through, come down like that. And that's basically it for that. Now, also remember there's the attack E nap, which Sean will demonstrate. He's going to hit me for this. Let's start off with a slap, and I will do the nap for this. So, Sean's going to grab me, eye contact, rear back, ah. Oh. And that's what a, an attacky slap looks like. Now we're going to do the attacky punch, which is the same thing. Eye contact, rear back, oh, except the only difference was Sean had his fist closed. Now here's where it gets a little bit different. Usually you don't use the, the team nap with a punch. You usually only use it with a slap. That's because you have a, with a punch, you have a balled up hand. It's a fist. It's really, you know, if you mess up with that, it could hurt, you know. So you always want to use your open hand when you're doing a team nap, which would look like this. Oh! And that's a team nap. Remember, only use a team nap with a slap and not a punch.